Welcome back to the channel. This is Can I Be Earnest. For those of you who are new to the channel, when I'm not making videos of interest, I'm usually doing social commentary. Why? Because everyone else does. A little change of scenery. Walking in the park today. Beautiful autumn morning. Um, to see some of the leaves are changing already. Autumn foliage in full effect. Not sure how good this looks on camera, but um, a beautiful day, beautiful morning nonetheless. So, you see the title of the video, uh, something that's just been weighing heavily on me in the last few months, maybe longer than that. What is the true meaning of friendship? Uh, and friendships have an expiration date. And I'm just thinking about the way life is in its current, you know, state. And this won't be a doom and gloom. This is just more so perspective. Uh, what is friendship to you? Remember back in the days as a child, you made friends. The goal was to make friends, be popular, fit in with certain groups. Um, a whole lot. Like it was just super important to establish friendships as a kid. And then you get older, of course you realize the friends diminish. And my thing is why? Why do friendships diminish? What changes? Um, why is there expiration dates? When you make friends at a certain age, why do things start to change over time? I know a lot of us tend to blame it on life. You know, all oh, life is changing. Uh, I'm married, I have kids. But why does that change the friendship? When you think about the core of your friendship with somebody, why is it so difficult to maintain that friendship? Say if you were brought together because you're into sports or you're into music and fine arts. Why as adults does it disappear? You know, like if you look in your contacts right now with your friends, Ask yourself, when's the last time you spoke to that one person? Has it been greater than six months? And if so, why are they still in your phone book? Why are they still in your contacts? They're not friends. What are we holding on to? Now, am I saying friendship should be ongoing? Like you speak to this person every day of the week? No, nobody wants to do that. Nobody needs to do that. Um, but if you haven't spoken to somebody that you consider a friend and it's been longer than six months, a year, two years. And I'm not talking about texting friendships. I'm talking about pick up the phone and say, what's good? How's your family? How you feeling? How's your health? If you haven't done that, or the person hasn't done that to you, then you're not friends anymore. It's really that simple. Like, what are we holding on to? And if you're somebody watching who knows me personally, <laughs> and you realize I haven't called or texted, delete me. You got to remove me. Uh, maybe... Maybe I had an awakening um, because, you know, like I said, the same rule will apply to me. So this is not to just like single out anybody, you know, but you got to ask yourself, when's the last time I spoke to this person? You know, texting has taken away a lot. Um, people use texting as a, people excuse themselves with texting, thinking that that will suffice. And it, it just doesn't. Unless your foundation was texting, like, like you've been doing that from day one. And then of course, in this era, texting and DMing and all that stuff is like a way to say hello. But if you've established friendships greater than 10 years, 20 years, and you're now reduced to just texting um, or just checkups once a year, the friendship is done. And the sooner you realize that, the easier it is to remove the context uh, I know people that I've been cool with for 25 years or so who now only hit you up on your birthday you might get a happy birthday text some of you guys might be okay with that I'm a, I'm a grown adult you know I don't need a birthday text from somebody I've known for 25 years and that be the only conversation I had with you for the whole year um, doesn't make sense to me I don't care whose life changes. I don't care how many kids you have or 
if you have a spouse or you're overseas or I, 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 it doesn't matter to me. I feel like when you when you've been reduced to a birthday text, then the friendship is done. I don't just text people on their birthday and then you don't hear from me for the rest of the year. That's silly to me. Um, and I'm noticing again that that's become a trend. It just seems to me that people are willing to remove themselves from sound friendships for whatever reason. I don't know the reason anymore. Um, I'm somebody who doesn't have siblings, so most of my friendships are brother and sister-like. Um, but I've had to remove people. You know, I'm still removing people. Um, I like a small circle, to be honest with you. It's just easier to deal with. You, you understand the personalities better. Um, I have my everyday people that I speak to, and I have my people I speak to every few weeks. Um, but if it's every six months or every year, most likely I've removed you from my contacts. Um, and I just think it's healthy for everybody to take that type of attitude. Because again, you got to ask yourself, what are you holding on to? If that friend is relegated to like a reference for a job or something, cool. Yeah, I'm going to keep this person in my phone book because I know they're a good job reference. Okay, that's cool. But if it's somebody who you've, you know, done things with, talked about everything to, um, gone to events, X, Y, Z, and there's no conversations, you got to remove yourself. And it's okay. I think that's the problem. A lot of us are fearful of like, oh my gosh. No, it's okay. Nothing's forever. You know, um, I have family members who have had friendships with people for 40 or 50 years that, you know, they reached their, their expiration point. It's kind of sad, but it's true for whatever reasons, you know, things change, attitudes change. So just a different perspective. I'm not sure what happened to friendships. I don't know if social media has destroyed it. I don't want to blame everything on social media um, because there was life before that. But um, I don't know, are people more comfortable just keeping one friend? Are people comfortable not having friends? Um, what is it that people are looking for from the friendship? Is it a friendship that you had to remove yourself from because of jealousy, envy, um, whatever it is? Like, what's keeping people from holding on to sound friendships? What's making people believe that it's okay to simply communicate with your friend once, twice a year? Like, when did that become okay? Um, even back in the days when we had landline phones, there was no cell phones. You know, you would speak to your friend a few times a week. Uh, so now that we all have personal phones attached to us, again, everybody's not busy. We can pretend, we can create this facade that we live busy lives 24 seven. A lot of our lives include grabbing our phones, looking at our phones. Uh, we're not that busy as, as people, okay? I don't care if you've run three businesses, you have some time out. And again, um, we make excuses. I don't make excuses personally. If I haven't spoken to you, it's it's all intentional. Because um, it can't be one-sided. A friendship or relationship, whatever, it can't be one-sided. It can't be something where it's just one person always doing the work, always calling, always sexing. That's not how it works. Nothing that involves multiple people should be one-sided. Um, just lessons I've learned with life that no licensed professional can teach me. Life is my greatest teacher and has been. So um, what does friendship mean to you? And how's it going, man? What does friendship mean to you? And how do you wish for your friendships to go? Just cannot be honest.